Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our van build series. If you're new here, my name is Jordan and together with my fiance Lise, we're converting this 2022 Ford Transit. Travel here in a few months. Let's get into the episode. I have been struggling with these drawers and these cabinets. Not so much the drawers, the drawers are done, um, but the cabinets, I don't know what I'm doing. It's making it so difficult. I've ordered the wrong thing like four times. The hinges, the soft close hinges, I've ordered like the wrong ones twice. Ordered these gas struts, which I don't know what the typical are, but these are like 22 pounds and they're making the door flex. I got the hinges coming, they'll be here tomorrow. Today's episode, going ahead and framing out the bed. I don't know the mechanism yet that's gonna hold the bed up once we like lift it, but might as well go ahead and frame it out. I think I'm gonna start prepping for paint. So Annalise wanted those to be like curved where the ceiling meets a wall. So I started wood filling it in. Start off the framing, we are going to measure the distance between the casework and the back of this wall. I think we could squeeze 54 inches. That's typically what a full size mattress is in width. The length is gonna be 75 inches. Probably have to cut a little bit off because I think we only have like 65 inches. Since I am 6'4", we're gonna have to utilize the windows that we framed out. I built these with uh, two by sixes. The way we have some good strength. Go and make our cuts. Typical me, I um, miscalculated how many hinges I would need. All right, I'm gonna fasten the rest of these and then from there we can figure out what angles we'll need for the backrest because we don't want the backrest to be straight up. All right, so I'm gonna finish securing these and then we'll go ahead and figure that out. All right, so I gotta hang this. And this kind of problem I'm having with the cabinet, it's just, it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm gonna get this mounted on both sides and then we're gonna go from there. We gotta cut the uh, cross members, cut all the long pieces. Now we gotta cut the, the shorter ones. So we are going to attach two pieces together. I'm gonna use pocket hole screws to initially secure it and then I'm gonna use some angles to come back in. day of bed we're just doing the framing for right now still haven't figured out how it's gonna work but here goes the concept it has two mounting points comes up flattens out and the other one will come up and flatten out I think what I'm gonna do is just do like gas struts underneath to help with the lifting and then I'm gonna have something that can tie into these bolts that I put right here probably just run underneath across I don't know yet though any NASA engineers watching this if you want to help me figure out a way to keep this propped up. That'd be great. When the bed's up, I have full access to these niches that we built for the window sills to like stretch out. Let's finish the other side up, see how it looks. Yeah, when you're screwing something in like this and you don't want it to move, I just reverse the drill and then I slowly drill it in. It keeps it in the same place so it doesn't push off that way or this way. Do a little test. Small, but it's actually pretty spacious. You can stretch out. Probably fit like six people. Annalise and I sat across from each other right here. It does feel a little tight, like sitting back, our knees touch, but we can definitely fit six people. And then we have obviously the driver swivel seat. So seven people in total, that's, I'm super happy about that. And then when it's time for bed mode, again, haven't figured it out. Just lift this up. Have to bridge the gap. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna finish this off. We're gonna put bottoms and tops on this. But yeah, I mean, that's a ton of space. I don't know why we we're so concerned with space because we have all this, we have all that. We have the overhead compartment, which is huge. We have these cabinets. We have underneath there, the drawers all on that side. So I don't think space will be a problem. 
the further I get with this design, I'm like super happy with it. Finish this bad boy up. Part of the design process, uh, I was trying to figure out how wide to make these because this is going to be our shoe storage. So I think I could fit three shoes in one space. So we're going to mount those cross members. Hers are going to be kind of similar. She does have a smaller foot. So I think I'm just going to break hers up kind of evenly as well. And then this top part, pretty much the same thing. Socks, t-shirts, underwear, stuff like that. I think the bed design was definitely going to be the better choice for us. Gives us a lot of space, somewhat storage. This is pretty much the layout right here. I think we've done a pretty good job. Pat's on back. Alright guys, so we got the bed, framing at least, wrapped up. Went ahead and put these dividers in here. This helps with the structure of it, as well as gives us extra storage space. We'll finish this with a door that lifts up, piano hinge on both of these. Yeah, we're just really happy with the design. It still gives us a lot of space down the middle because um, typically you just see someone with like a fixed bed or one of those ones where you put a piece of wood in the middle and then like your mattress comes over. This will give us a full size bed. I'll be able to have my feet extend out into these window sills. I'll access the electrical if I need to. Super happy with it. Um, next week is going to be cabinets. I'm not looking forward to it. But at the same time, I'm like almost there. I'm sure everyone that's built a van has this like one thing that they were doing that they dislike more than anything. And for me, definitely cabinets. I would be okay if I never had to build another cabinet. So yeah, guys, we're going to end it there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next week. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no Creflo dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans gon'